Hi, I'm Torrance Taylor. I'm a senior at Chamberlain University and I graduate in two months or in a month, uh, in April, April 2024. So yeah, it's coming up pretty fast. I'm a senior right now. Mm -hmm. I have to stop right now and say, I cannot believe you're a senior. <laughs> <laughs> the years have flown by, have they? I know. Yeah. Well, okay, so let's start off when I first met you at the New Orleans Career Center and that journey, how you applied to the New Orleans Career Center and did, did that have influence on you where you are now today? Yes, it had like major influence on where I am today. It was like, first of all, at NLCC, they presented me with the opportunity. It was like, I think you'll really work out in this nursing program. It is a bit accelerated and fast paced, but I think you could do it. You're one of our top scholars at NLCC and I think you like would enjoy Chamberlain. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna check it out. And then I was like, you know, a little still on the fence. And then after they was like, you gonna do it, you gonna do it. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. So yeah, it had like major influence on why I am today. Mm -hmm. And when you first got to the New Orleans Career Center, was your mind set on nursing? Yes, it was, it was actually, yeah. yes. I like to tell his story. I was like, oh yeah, you know, growing up, everybody always gonna say, they won't be a doctor, they won't be a doctor. And I said the same thing. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a pediatrician. I'm gonna be a pediatrician. And then like somewhere along the line, I was like, mm, no, I wanna provide care. I wanna be at the bedside. So I was like, I'm gonna be a nurse. <laughs> you wish, And I bet you you're a great nurse. Do you mm -hmm. get great reviews from your patients? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Torrance, you remember I told you I'm deathly afraid of needles? Mm -hmm. I would love for you to be my nurse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to give it fast. I'd be like, you ready? One, two, three, poke. Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What high school did you go to other than New Orleans Career Center? I went to McDonough 35 all four years. Of okay, high and how did you do there? Oh, I did extremely well there. Um, yeah. I thrived. It was a very educational environment mixed with like a bit of fun so it was like we worked hard and we played hard so it was yeah. a great environment mm -hmm. and did you like getting on the bus to go to new orleans career center yeah i love new orleans career center like i brag about them all the time i love i like that we do too <laughs> <laughs> oh well I, that's when our journeys collided was mm -hmm. when this building was uh my mother was going to be named after the building and you were nominated by the New Orleans Career Center, you and Kaija Falk, to get one of the scholarships. And you've been with us now several years, us following you, uh, giving you lift scholarships. And we have, it, let me just say, it has been such a privilege to get to know you and your grandfather and know it about your family. It's yeah. truly a privilege. And uh, I love whenever I call you, 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 you go along with any shenanigans we're doing. I surely do. Like, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your hardest subject? What's the hardest subject? Pharmacology. Pharmacology okay. is really hard. So pharmacology is like a class where you learn all different types of medications and how to administer them, um, what medications not to mix together, but it's like, and the medications are broken down into specific classes. So like, for example, cardiovascular meds are broken down into several different classes of medication. Like you have your um, beta blockers or your antihypertensives. Yeah, I would say that's like been my hardest class so far. Yeah, and that's one you do, when, when, don't want to make a mistake on. when you're Yeah, no, because it's yeah. serious, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell me about the support of your family. They're amazing. Like, um, so for example, for clinicals, my father would like wake up early because like they'd be like, okay, we know you have to be at the hospital for like 5 30, 6 o'clock. We'll get up early and drop you off and pick you up at the end of the night. And like they'll like make meals and like meal prep for me. They'll like help me study. Like it's it's amazing. The support is like truly amazing. And is that from like your grandfather, your mom, your you my know, grandfather, my mom, like external people, like family, friends and stuff like come and help and like they'll check up on me and they'll be like, how you doing? We're still rooting for you. Like we there's like people send me messages and be like, I haven't forgot about you. I know you're in nursing school. Keep going. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're there with them rooting for you. Yeah. <laughs> we're there. We're there. Well, um, has, okay. This is a loaded question. Has anyone volunteered to get a shot from you? Everybody always says, Torrance, 
don't move away from New Orleans. We need you to be our nurse. We need you to be our nurse. <laughs> I have these neighbors that I've been knowing since like a little girl because they lived in my neighborhood since I was a child. And they're like, Torrance, you cannot move away. You're going to be our nurse. Like, don't move away. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I love that. And speaking of where you live, are you still living with your family? Yes, I am. Tell us about that living situation because I think it's so interesting. So uh, it's, to me, it's pretty normal. So the kind of house I live in, it's like a front of like a front piece of the house. And then like the back of the house is kind of like slave quarters. I live in like kind of like a historic home. So I come in every day, really do homework. We eat as a family. We watch movies. It's like a normal everyday family just with a little like nursing and like medical knowledge like mixed in that's pretty much it and do y'all have separate living quarters or yeah you, yeah so yeah you're, like your mom like your grandfather lives in a different building yeah, yeah yeah that's what it's like I'm really big on like family and like support systems and I feel like without family and even like external like like you guys like I just feel like support systems in general and family is very comforting because like something could go wrong and you will come home at the end of the night and be like hey guys like I was struggling day I didn't have a really good day today and you know it's it's comforting mm -hmm. yeah that's good well um speak and how has it been for us you you said something a little bit about us how has it been for the 431 exchange to be supporting you all these years and did you think it was going to be all these years actually no I didn't think yeah a lot of companies and organizations and just like people in general be like oh we're going to be there we're going to be there and then like when like time progresses and like further on they don't be there but like y'all would text me and be like what classes are you in today? What you're doing today? <laughs> How's it going? How is it going? And I, it, it kind of was like, oh, they're really there, like all the time. And they'd be like, oh, come, y'all be like, come to this event and come to this event. And for example, we went to the fundraiser. Remember? Y'all did phenomenal. You yeah. and your grandfather. Yeah, yeah. So did you did you have a good time? Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. I had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. You and your grandfather came dressed to impress. <laughs> I y'all got voted the best looking, you know, and you know, like in all of overall. But um, so when you graduate, are you gonna be in a specialty area? No. So when I graduate, I'll be in like kind of like med surge, which is med the medical surgical unit, which is basically kind of like a regular like unit that gets like all different types of patients. So no, no specialty, no, I'm not going to be in like oncology or peds, like anything like the ICU. No, I'm not going to start out in a, any specialty. No. Yeah. And have they offered you a formal job? Yes, they okay. have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it, and where is that? At Turo, at Turo Infirmary. Okay. Okay. Well, good. And then do you know people there? Yes. Actually, I'm precepting at Turo at this moment. So like what preceptorship is, is your um, nursing college, the nursing school pairs you with a nurse at a facility and you basically get like hands-on skills and like real patient interaction and you get to like give medications, um, document, create nursing notes. It's a real learning experience. So yeah, I actually know a lot of people at Turo. Yes. Okay, good. So you, yeah. So your first day as a full-time paid employee would be in May. Or when would that be? Uh, so they asked us. Um, so our chief nursing officer asked us like when we wanted to start. And I told him like mm, in like July or August is my start time because I want to give a little time to like study and like enjoy life, probably go on a vacation after and stuff. So I'm not gonna say like right in May, but a little bit after. I love that because um, a lot of people when they switch jobs, and I'm not even thinking about in college, but when they switch jobs, they start, they get pressure to start right away. Mm -hmm. And I love that you've taken off some time to just yeah. kind of wind down. What's wind the, yeah, yeah, I know. Well, Do you think you're you. going to go get um, higher education or you're just going to start yes. working? Well, I'm going to start working and get settled in, like working and trying to learn the floor and like get experience under my belt first. And then, yes, I'm trying. Yeah, I'll be pursuing higher education. Yes. Yeah. And, and when you do that. Master's in psych. Whoa, not yeah. PD, not PD. So I no. know. You, yeah. 
It changed. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I tell uh, everybody, it changed. <laughs> we wish we could be at your graduation in April. Are you going to go and do it on the stage? And Yeah, it's in person. Um, we're actually hosting, LCMC is hosting our graduation at Children's Hospital. And how many uh, people from the family are coming? I know everybody, but have you well, they're them? only giving us like, I think six tickets. So, oh, that's nothing, Torrance. That's just not even your whole household, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, do you have anything to tell us? You know, I've asked you some questions, but do you have anything else you would like to tell or brag about yourself or, because we brag about you. Anything extra. I'm in National Honor Society. So, wow. since, so okay, I'm going to say at Chamberlain. At Chamberlain University, they're partnered with Sigma, and Sigma is a National Honor Society for nursing students and nurses. So I'm in that. And also, I have a high GPA. My GPA is like a 3.5 or 3.6 right now. So, yeah. Wow, you are excelling. Is there anything we can do for you as you go march to graduation in April? Is there anything we can do for you? Just keep on supporting. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. I really can't.